Words are pretty darn powerful, you know? They can shape our world, mess with our feelings, and bring us all together. The way we talk, especially, can either build stuff up or tear it down, pump us up or bring us down. Sadly, in today's world, people are kind of abusing this super cool tool we've got, words. Think about it right from the start, there were words. Like, in the beginning, there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Now, not everyone might vibe with the whole religious thing, but this Bible line is onto something cool. It's saying there's a lesson here for everyone. It's a reminder that everything kicks off with a word. Words are like these vibe-filled sounds that shape the world we live in. They're like the architects of everything, our universe, our lives, the whole shebang. Without words, our thoughts wouldn't ever become real, you know? You can spot this idea popping up all over history, like in the Bible, where God throws out the line, let there be light, and bam, there's light. No matter how you interpret it personally, it's like a sign saying, yo, your words have some serious power. So, if our words and thoughts are the sculpting tools for our reality, there are MVPs. It makes sense, right? We should be careful with what we say to create the best reality possible. Sure, our thoughts play a role in what goes down in our lives, but the real powerhouse, that's our words. They boldly announce what's going on in our heads and tell the world how we see things, other people, our lives, and even ourselves. When we drop some powerful words, it's like turning our thoughts into reality. Now here's the head scratcher. Why do we sometimes throw this amazing power out the window? In our society, we're all about sharing the not so great stuff and airing our problems. It's like giving a voice to our views on events, people, and ourselves, and that can bring them to life. Complaining about life to others? It's like tossing out negative words, shaping them into this real thing. And the crazy part? When you keep saying stuff, those words aren't just your truth anymore. They become the truth in the minds of those who hear them. Neville Goddard had this wild idea that God and human imagination were like two peas in a pod. According to him, everything around us is our thoughts and consciousness brought to life. So, your not-so-great life experiences. They're not just proof of bad vibes, but also negative beliefs. Goddard dropped this gem. Stop believing in God and start believing as God. Now, while lots of folks swear by the law of attraction, there's a little catch. As long as you think you're reaching for something, it might just stay out of reach. But if you see yourself as this inseparable part of the whole universe, how can you not have what you want? No reaching, just holding. If your imagination is shaping up the real world, it's got to bend to your will. But here's the trick. Your imagination and your will need to be on the same wavelength. This is where the assumption part kicks in. Goddard's big on treating every bit of your life like what you want is already here. Like it's a regular part of your now. Your senses might kick up a fuss, but if you stick with it, it's going to harden into reality. Eventually, your senses and the world will jump on board, turning what was just a brain daydream into a real living deal. Now let's talk about words. Say them right, and they can shake up how you see yourself and get you pumped for success. Keep telling yourself you're capable, strong, and all that good stuff. And watch your self-esteem soar. Flip side, knock yourself down with negative self-talk, and you're throwing hurdles in the way of personal growth. It's like a verbal boost or a major buzzkill, depending on what you're throwing out there. Let's talk about affirmations. They're like this super straightforward but crazy effective tool for bringing some positive vibes into our lives. When we consciously decide to drop words of encouragement and self-belief, it's like a game changer reshaping how we think and act, leading us straight to a more satisfying life. Now, here's the secret sauce. I am. Seriously, these two little words are like pure gold in your vocabulary. How you finish I am is like setting the stage for who you are, not just to yourself, but to everyone else too. If you go with I am fat, lazy, shy, or flip it to I am beautiful, confident, successful, and happy, that's the reality you're crafting. Even if there's zero truth to those words, how you end those two little guys is your reality check. So why not go big? 
Kick off each morning with a positive I am and set the tone for your day. Now let's dig into the word game. When we're all complaint central or throwing out anxious and hurtful words, it's usually fear doing the talking. To kick that fear to the curb, step one is getting real about the words we toss around. Before you spill a complaint or some criticism, hit pause and ask yourself, why am I saying this? Will this boost my happiness? Chances are, you'll see it's fear taking the mic. Maybe you're not feeling like a rock star, or your relationship or job is doing limbo. Here's the kicker. Venting those fears won't make you happier, it just cranks them up. So when you're in word mode, be brave, intentional, and kind. Speak from a love vibe for yourself, your life, and everyone else. Your words, they're like the architects of your world, so choose them wisely. Think of your words as not just reflections of what's buzzing in your head, but also as mirrors showing off your inner vibe. They spill the tea on your real self, shouting it out to both your subconscious and the world. Picture this, when your inner chatter is all about love, embracing your desires and tossing in some compassion and self-love, you're laying down the red carpet for your words to bring your dream self to life. Do this love dance consistently and boom, you're in for some seriously good vibes and outcomes. Now, your spoken words, they're like dropping pebbles in a pond, sending ripples beyond just your bubble. They tag along in the collective consciousness, not just shaping your life, but also doing a little dance in the lives around you. The law of assumption isn't just a solo act, it's a world changer. Check it out. Folks dealing with money struggles, their talks usually circle being broken and all the limits. Flip the script to those riding the prosperity wave, and they're all about cash flow and expansion. No judgment here. Both sides are just different tunes in the Human Experience playlist. For a real glow up in life, get cozy with a new inner convo style. Switch up how you talk and live in your mind and watch the magic happen in your life. Words are like your personal billboard, shouting out what's inside the world and your noggin. So mind your words, fam. Caution is the name of the game. Align that inner chat with love vibes and watch your outer talk fall in line. The more you rock that love frequency, the more your words will spin out positive vibes and bring that dream version of yourself to life. It's like a love ripple effect that just keeps on giving. Words are more than just random sounds. They're like windows into our beliefs and feelings with serious power to shake up our reality. Doubt it? Just eavesdrop on folks around you and you'll see their words acting like a script for their experiences. Hermes Trismegistus, dropping wisdom like a boss, said, Man is given the gift of speech and mind that makes him equal to the immortals. Translation, your words are like eternal echoes hanging out in the collective consciousness, way beyond your current reality. So, enter Hermeticism this ancient wisdom party brought to you by Hermes Trismegistus and his greatest hit, the Kabalion. Picture this. Everything's a mental game, all about assumptions being the Lego bricks of your reality. The Kabalion is all about the 411 on how our beliefs and assumptions are the puppet masters of our world. Assume something's true and your brain goes into sync mode, making it real in your world. It's a shout out to rocking positive assumptions to score those dream outcomes. Now head to ancient Egypt, where the OG concept of Ma'at was the real deal. Ma'at wasn't just a vibe, it was the cosmic order of the universe, all about truth, balance, and good vibes. Ma'at's teachings spilled the tea that your actions and assumptions could either keep the universe in Zen mode or mess with its groove. Egyptians knew that syncing up your thoughts and assumptions with Ma'at was the ticket to a life bursting with harmony and fulfillment. Long story short, your thoughts and assumptions, they're like the architects of a life that grooves with universal order. Tibetan Buddhism drops some serious knowledge on the mind-world connection, revealing that our mind is like the grand architect of our reality. According to this ancient wisdom, how we see the world is a mind-made masterpiece, shaped by our perceptions and feelings. Fancy a reality upgrade? Just tweak your mental settings. The Tibetans invite us to dive into our assumptions, give them a nod, and then work some intentional magic to transform them. 
It's like taking the reins of your reality and conjuring up the circumstances and outcomes you're itching for. Now let's weave these ancient vibes into our modern hustle. Wrap your head around this, your beliefs and assumptions. They're like the puppet masters pulling the strings of your experiences. Sync them up with your goals and boom. You've got the law of assumption on your side, making your dream reality a thing. Whether you're vibing with Hermeticism, Hinduism, or any ancient groove, the real juice is realizing your mind's got the VIP pass to shaping your world. Acknowledge that, and you're on a fast track to crafting a life that's all about your deepest wishes and dancing with universal order. Now buckle up, because here's the cosmic truth. You and the universe, inseparable. Your imagination, it's like the divine creator and those desires of yours, totally within reach. Yeah, reprogramming your subconscious might take a hot minute, but according to the guru Neville Goddard, it's step one to unleashing the law of assumption in your life. Get into the groove of assuming your deepest wishes are already happening. Trust the universe like it's your ride or die, which is trusting yourself and stroll through the world like you own the place armed with confidence and gratitude. Why? Because in Neville's world, as yourself pushed out, the outer world has no choice but to dance to your tune. Sooner than later, you'll clock into your true power, rocking faith like it's your sidekick and feeling freedom in your bones. Welcome to the cosmic show where you're the headliner. May your imagination unfold in the universe like a beautiful mirror, reflecting limitless possibilities to all you wonderful folks out there, consider this your cue to step up. Shift that inner chatter towards positivity and abundance, and just watch as your words kickstart the reality you've been daydreaming about. Remember, you're the wizard holding the word wand, changing your life bit by bit. If you've got some manifesting tales to tell, drop them in the comments. I'm all ears for your journey. And hey, if this chat resonated with you, a little like and subscribe dance for the channel would be ace. Hit that bell too, because more mind-blowing content like this is in the works, and I'm betting it'll be a game-changer on your spiritual journey. Thanks for hanging out, take care, and catch you on the flip side.